Hi, my name is Ben from Empower Sleep, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your home sleep testing device. Your box should have come in with three things. First is a sheet of paper. It includes uh, your patient ID, which is very important. Second is the uh, recording device itself. It'll have a charging cable uh, and the device. You're going to want to charge that before you use it. And then third is a return shipping label for when you're done with your multi-night sleep testing. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you uh, figure out how to download and set up the device on your mobile phone. Let me connect my phone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to navigate to your app store. Depending on whether you have an iPhone or an Android device, it may look a little bit different. But what you're going to want to do is to search for the Sleep Image mobile app. It's going to be this one here uh, with this logo. And then you're going to click Download on it. Once the app has finished downloaded, you're going to want to open it up. You're going to be prompted with uh, notifications. I'll click Allow. And then you're going to want to put in that six digit uh, patient ID again from, from, from the sheet of paper. So let me type mine in along with uh, date of birth. And then click sign in. If you sign in properly, uh, you're going to get prompted with a, uh, Bluetooth permissions, you're going to click OK. And it's now going to start looking for the recorder device. So what you're going to want to do is put the record device on a finger to turn it on, and it should pop up on the screen. In this case, this is the device I'm connecting to showing up here. I'm going to click Connect. It'll load the recorder information, and then this screen will pop up if it's connected. If you go to the settings on the bottom right here, you'll see there's a device serial number. Keep this in handy in case you're having problems with your device, as well as the patient ID connected to your account. Again, that patient ID can be found on the sheet of paper that was included in your package. Next, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to actually record at night. So once you have finished uh, charging your device, make sure it's got ample battery. Uh, you're going to navigate back to this dashboard app and press this uh, green record button at the bottom. Before you get started, uh, what you're going to want to do, make sure your phone is plugged in. You're going to want to make sure that other Bluetooth devices like smartwatches are disconnected as they'll interfere with the data transmission of the ring. And then you're going to want to keep the ring close to your phone throughout the night. You're going to click start button. Make sure your phone is charged in, and then it'll switch from searching, 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 and it'll switch to record in progress. And once recording in progress is set, you're ready to go to sleep. There may be things such as check sensor, in which case you're going to want to adjust the position on your finger. In this case, I kind of have it half on, and now the numbers finally show up. That means the recording is good. I can now go to sleep. In the morning, when I wake up, I'm going to turn on my phone again, I'm going to click this stop button and click yes for stop the recording. It's going to hop over to this page and you see at the top upload status switch to completed. Once this completed has shifted over, it means that the data has been transmitted over and it's going to go through the processing to make it onto our patient portal. And once that completed sign uh, is done, you're good to close out the app and carry on with the rest of the day. Don't forget to uh, charge your sleep device. Again, the charger at the back, there's a, a little port you can open up to charge it uh, and connect it to any USB charger. And you're gonna wanna make sure it's charged so you can do your multi-night sleep testing. And uh, within a couple hours to, to a couple days, you'll be able to see your results and talk to your care team and find out uh, what's going on with your sleep. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope this was helpful and until we meet again, sleep well.